So I've been trying to work out what I want to play for YCS London next month. And I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to play ABC Punk. It's what I played for Nationals last year, and I did quite well with it. And with the recent, well, I say recent unbanning of Ancient Fairy Dragon, it's not quite off the list yet. But as of um, somewhere in March, we're getting Ancient Fairy Dragon back. And I think that takes ABC to uh, an exceptionally great place. Uh, because getting to Union Hangar is so important for the deck to function. And having access to Ancient Fairy Dragon and other ways of getting field spells makes ABC so much more consistent. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you over this list that I came up with last night. And I'm going to show you a one card combo, which I think is very impressive. Uh, just using a single copy of Zayaman, Emergency Teleport, or Foxy Tune. Um, and yeah, you're all going to be playing ABC because you're going to see how exceptional these combos are. So, go through the combo card. We're playing 3 Zayaman, 3 Foxy Tune, 1 Sharakushi, 1 Deer Note, 1 Wagon, 1 Madam Spider, 1 Extreme Session, the Field Spell, 1 copy of Dangerous Gabu. I'm playing this over the Pop Trap because in a lot of the combos you don't want to end with a Punk on board because other than the Quick Synchro into uh, Amazing Dragon, Punk doesn't really put up a lot of disruptions that include the Punk monsters. Um, so I'm going for this trap because it still can use its negation effect even if you don't control Punk. Um, if you don't know, the Punk trap that pops can only pop sets if you don't control a Punk monster. Uh, we have on free Emergency Teleport. This gets, obviously gets us to our Zayaman, which starts all our combos off. For the ABCs, we're playing two copies of A, two copies of B, two copies of C, and one Union Driver. Don't think it's necessary to be playing three of all of these. I think in my list for Nationals last year, I was playing three B, two A, two C, I think. Um, I think just playing two of each is perfectly fine now. Um, the deck has enough combos that you don't really need to see the pieces. Um, unless you're going through Union Hanger, and if you just see like one piece, traditionally you can get to the majority of your combo just from there. Uh, free Union Hanger and one Terraforming, the most important cards in the deck. Uh, we're playing one Furion Disc Coliseum. We obviously get this off of the Terraforming, as well as the Terraforming could technically search the Jam Session. Um, this is if we open up our Union Hanger, we could search this off the Ancient Fairy Dragon instead of searching the Union Hanger, which allows us to put an extra negation on board, which is quite cool. Uh, one Furion King Regulus to obviously search off the Disc Coliseum. In ABC, this isn't only a negate, it's also an extender, because you can special summon the pieces you attach to Furion King Regulus um, onto the field, and then you can link them off or synchro them off or whatever, and you get their effects, which is really cool. One Tally Ho Springins and one Springins Kit. This is for good old Sargas in the extra deck. Uh, we can make this with the Punk cards, which allows us to search for a level 4 monster we can sync off with our level 3 tuners to make Ancient Fairy Dragon, which will be used to pop the extreme session that we search in combo to be able to search for Union Hanger. Um, Springins Kit, obviously... Um, it's probably just the best Spriggans level 4. It actually does something. Um, obviously, the other ones do stuff in Spriggans, but they don't particularly do anything in ABC. Uh, in this list, I'm playing one copy of Brand of Banishment to search off of the Spriggans kit, because hilariously, this can special summon back ABC Dragon Buster, since it is a level 8 or higher fusion monster. Uh, and ABC Dragon Buster is a soft once per turn to banish, which is quite cool. So um, you can use the effect to pop something, tag out for all your pieces, and then Banishment bring back the ABC Dragon Buster to banish a, another card. Um, you could play Branded Retribution, which I'm considering also playing, maybe as a side option, or maybe I play it over Banishment, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Retribution is a Omni Negate if you return a face-up fusion monster you control to the extra deck. So this isn't as good because you'd have to give up your Banish from ABC Dragon Buster, but this card plays around cards like Evenly Matched. It plays around Dark Ruler, even if that card comes back into the format. And I think considering this is definitely something you should do and like see how the meta game definitely shapes up. Because Evenly Matched is everywhere because it hits Cash Terror. So if you want to have some form of edge against Evenly Matched, Retribution is probably it. I'm playing Brand of Banishment because it looks flashier in the combo I'm going to show you. Um, not only can you obviously summon back your ABC Dragon Buster off this, but in the branded matchup, you can use this to super poly away their board, which is quite hilarious, and you can make a Dragon Sepalia for an extra negation. Uh, free Nibiru, free Ash, free Imperm. These are the going second cards I've chosen to put into this deck. Ash obviously hits 
Branded quite well. Nibiru and Imperm hit Kashtira really well. So those are the options I've gone for that. Um, these could be changed to your liking. Uh, this is what I'm going with currently. And um, yeah, I don't hate it. And the 41st card is a single copy of Cool by the Grave. Hitting hand traps is pretty good and Ash is everywhere. So you might as well play it. You could maybe play a crossover designator instead, since we are playing Nibiru, Imperm, and Ash, which are all of the hand traps that are in this format. Um, yeah, to your liking. Uh, in the extra deck, we're playing two ABC Dragon Buster, one Dragon Sepelio, one Rising Carp, one Amazing Dragon, one Baron de Fleur, one Jam Dragon Drive, one Ancient Fairy Dragon, one Gigantic Champion Sargas, one Axis Code Talker, one Appaloosa, one Unicorn, one Platinum Gadget, one Pit Knight Early, and one IP Masquerainer. You heard me say the word one there a lot. Uh, that could definitely be an issue in regards to Kashtira Unicorn and the Mind Hacker. So you may want to take out some of the tech options I have in here, such as... What are we going here? There's a little bit of tech. Like Pit Knight Early, it's part of the combo, but you don't have to play this card. You could... Um, take this out to play a second copy of Jam Drive, for example, or Appaloosa, or something that you want to ensure that you can uh, go into when your opponent is on Kashtira. And obviously, if you're playing Retribution, you don't have to play Dragon Spelling, so that's another gap you have there. Um, so that's everything I have for the deck profile. Just trying to work out if there's anything else I want to say. Oh yes, um, one of the reasons that I've decided to play Punk ABC, or I think I've decided to play Punk ABC, is because I wanted a deck that didn't lose to Dim Barrier, um, because Labyrinth is starting to main that card, and it's also in everybody's side decks. And this deck has the unique approach where you can go through both Fusion Monsters, Synchro Monsters, and Link Monsters. So you don't hard lose to Dim Barrier. And your opponent might not know if they want to side it in if you go first and see you just doing all the summoning. Like, we even go into Xyz in this deck a little bit, which is quite hilarious. Anyway, we'll go into the combo. We're on... Why Joe Pro today? Because I really couldn't be asked to do all this in Discord. I'm just going to turn the volume down so it doesn't come through the microphone. Um, so we're going to start off by normal summoning our uh, Zayaman and using the effect to search for a Foxy Tune. We're then going to use the Foxy Tune's effect, discarding itself and the Zayaman to summon a copy of Shakura or whatever. Shakuse. Shakuse, the one that Fusion summons essentially. We'll fusion with the Zayaman and we'll get the Carp and then we'll tribute the Carp to summon a Deer Note and a copy of Wagon. Wagon's going to search for extreme speed and we are then going to synchro off for Jam Drive. Jam Drive is going to trigger as Chain Link 1 and we are going to trigger Deer Note as Chain Link 2, special summoning back a level 8, in this case Rising Carp, and Jam Drive is going to search us a copy of Madam Spider. This is going to trigger the field spell since we paid life points for a punk effect to draw a card. And then we're going to use the second effect of the field spell to banish the Foxy Tomb to special summon the spider, using its effect to search for a trap. And we've paid life points of a punk monster again, so we get to trigger the extreme speed for a second time and draw another card. From here, we can overlay our two level 8s to go into a Sargas, and we can use the effect to search for Tally Ho Spriggins. From here, we can use Tally Ho Spriggins, detaching the jam drive to search and then special summon a kit, and use the effect to search for a copy of Branded Banishment. Couple of things I want to note here. Um, if we have opened the Talio, then Champion Sargas can just search for Disc Coliseum, which will allow us to get a copy of um, Regulus onto our field, which is also going to be an extender for our ABC plays, which is quite cool. And because, uh, as you'll see here, the Spriggan's kit is going to shuffle a card back into the deck, if we open up Union Driver, we can actually put that card back now, which is quite nice to do before you do your ABC plays. But from here, we are going to synchro off our spider and our kit to go into an Ancient Fairy Dragon and use the effect to destroy both field spells and gain a thousand life points, and we get to search for a copy of Union Hanger. We can then activate our copy of Union Hanger and search for a copy of Bee Buster Drake. We can then use the effect of Ancient Fairy Dragon to special summon a level 4 or lower monster from our hand, so we'll summon the Bee Buster Drake. Union Hanger will trigger to equip the Union Driver from our deck, and we can use a Union Driver to equip a copy of C instead. We can then use the C to special summon itself, link off the B and the Ancient Fairy Dragon for a copy of IP Mascarena, use the B to search for a copy of A, and then link off the Sargas and the C for a Pit Knight early, C effect to special summon the A, and then banished everything for an ABC Dragon Buster. 
Now that might have seen like a lot of steps just to end on IP plus Buster plus early, but you have to consider this was a two card combo of just Zay Amon and a discard. And we have ended on ABC Dragon Buster, an IP Mascarena, which will be using the pieces from the ABC to go into an Appaloosa. Pit Knight Early, which can be a negation when we use our ABC Dragon Buster effect or an IP Mascarena effect, or our Appaloosa effect if we keep it on board. As well as Dangerous Gabu, which is a targeted negation um, as a trap card, and Brand of Banishment, which is going to be able to get us back our Buster and potentially fusion someone with our opponent's cards, as well as drawing two cards off of the field spell. So from our two cards, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there being one, two, three, four, five, technically, six, seven, eight, nine interruptions. Ten, yeah, nine interruptions. So a lot to do off of just one card. So I'm um, just going to have like the other side play some cards just so we can show some of these interruptions play off. Oh, I'm going to use the Amon's effect. I'm going to search for a Foxy soon, summon a Deer Note, and then we decide, oh yeah, we don't really want you to be playing here, so we'll Buster, we'll banish this, we'll Buster, summon a bunch of guys, we'll use Union Hanger to equip another piece, we'll IP Masquerader, make a format Appaloosa, trigger our guys in Graveyard to get ourselves even more follow-up. God, this is slow. Let's press play. Um, you can see me go to battle phase there because I was trying to work out how I could make my cards trigger. We'll use the banishment to special summon back the... Um, oops, swap. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, bring back the ABC Dragon Buster. And we can use that to banish again. We have the trap, which we can use as a negation. And I have closed the replay. So let's quickly just allow it to play while I speak a little bit more. So yeah, um, that is the main combo line that I came up with. Obviously, if you don't open up with Zayn and Itali, Foxy Tune. Well, you can just open up with Union Hanger, Terraforming. Uh, a piece plus Regulus can often get you there, going second if you like crash the piece and that sort of stuff. There's plenty of stuff you can be doing with this deck. And yeah, I really like this combo. And you could apply this for other decks that aren't ABC Dragon Buster as well. So Zayaman getting to any field spell and being able to summon a level 4... This could be used in stuff like Tiralaman. You could search for the Tiralaman field spell and you could search for a copy of Sharon. You can special summon the... Or you can search for a Mary. You can special summon the Mary, mill free, and do stuff from there and that sort of crap. So there's plenty you can definitely do with this deck. Um, I think Dylan wants to have a look and see what he can do with Scareclaws in relation to this because obviously the Scareclaw field spell also gets you a search. We have the new... Um, I forget the name of the card. Uh, the new Vsas deck coming out with the monsters that want to pop themselves in the level 2 tuners. Maybe something could be done with that. But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments or anything you think I could have done better, please let me know. Uh, if you want to see future content from us, please make sure to subscribe. If you want to go see previous videos done by us, you can find them all on the channel. There's plenty of combo guides for other decks. Some of them a little bit outdated, um, but some of them aren't, and some of them are quite cool. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, um, great, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.